Hello guys and welcome to this new class in where we are gonna see how to transform our viewports into hybrids or a vector file in order mainly to play with the thickness of the lines. So this is a very very interesting and important task in layout and we will start with this page in where we have this view of the building and pay attention because when I scroll in you can check how our lines are kind of pixelated right so maybe it's okay for you but if you want to be more fussy then layout give us some options we should go over the trays and this time as far as we want to play with the SketchUp model, we want to go over the tray called a SketchUp model. Select our viewport, then the tray is active already. We have selected the scene one. So all the changes that we are gonna do are gonna happen just on this scene, not in all the scenes in our paper document. That is very, very important. And the first thing that we can do is to play with the line scale, actually. This is the thickness, 0.5, and we can change it. We can make it wider, let's say one point. You can appreciate the difference, or we can do it thinner. Here we are. But the thing that we didn't do is to avoid to have our lines pixelated, right? For this task, we have this another option. I will expand this window and we have three different features, vector, raster, and hybrid. By default, we are working in layout with this raster option active. Raster, as you already know, means that we are working with pixels. This is a kind of grid, all the images made of pixels, like when we are working in Photoshop. On the other hand, we have the option in order to work with vectors. This is as when we are exporting from a SketchUp a PDF. Our lines becomes vectors, so they will be very good defined, but we will lose the textures of our materials, of our images. Let's click it, and then this window pops up. Vector rendering, while good for line drawings, cannot represent complex styles, okay? And then we can check how our lines right now are perfect, super polished, but as I told you, we lost all the textures of our materials, right? So this is not interesting for us, but don't worry because layout give us the solution. The midpoint, hybrid. With hybrid, we will have the best of both worlds. Let's click it. Hybrid rendering, while effective at representing complex styles, can take much longer to render than either vector or raster. Okay, the time is not important. Let's say okay, because actually it's not that long. And here we have the result. The lines are very sharp and accurate, not pixelated anymore, and we keep our textures perfectly drawn, right? The problem here, and this is because this image is a little bit complex, is that we have lost lines of different elements placed in the interior of this building. If I jump back to raster, you will see that here, for example, this pillar has some lines, as it happens with the rest of the elements, right? If I go over hybrid, okay, our lines becomes better, but we lost some details, some lines, better said, placed in the interior of the building. So this is up to you. Anyways, once we have selected hybrid, we can still change the line scale and with vector 2. 0 0.10 looks okay for me, so let's keep it like that. Now let's jump to this first page because I would like to show you how this tool works with a different case as this section elevation. So first of all, we have to select it, make sure that the scene is called section elevation, the line scale by default is 0.5 and we are working in the raster mode. As you can check, our lines sometimes are not even completed and the corners are like broken, right? This situation happens in more places, so it is time for using the hybrid mode. Okay, we have to wait a little bit and then check how our lines now 
look much more better. They are not broken anymore. We keep the textures. Everything looks very, very much nicer, right? We could even play with the thickness of those lines. So let's go over line scale and instead of 0.5, let's say 0.2. This line scale is affecting all the drawing together. We will decrease all the lines in the same percentage. So maybe right now is even better. Let's check 0.3. I am happy with this. So let's go over the floor plan, one click on here. The viewport is locked, so I have to unlock the viewport. Instead of raster, let's say, again, hybrid. Remember that vector is good for the lines, but not good for the textures. You can check here the result. So hybrid will be our favorite most of the times. Let's click it. Here we are. Let's play now with the line scale instead of 0.5 let's say 0.2 i think that now is much more better as far as here we are not using a section plane we are not cutting the building it is just a floor plan maybe even 0.1 can be better. So once we are happy with the result, we can lock again our viewport, this one and this one too, and we can save our document. Time to say goodbye now. And in the next episode, we will continue polishing up our document, this time by adding different elements drawn here in layout.